Hey guys, it's Whoop Jaggle, and today I'm going to show you how to very quickly um, solo the Ascendant Challenge. Um, I believe that it is called Harbinger's Seclude. It's the Falling Rocks one with the three knights, uh, and then you have to jump back on the rocks with the with the falling rocks to kind of cuck people. And there's a lot of people that struggle, especially with Warlock, you know, Warlock jump. And I think hunters kind of struggle too. I'm going to show you a way that's very, very easy to get back with the sword, which is obviously the goal. Um, you want to kill these knights. I'm going to show you, actually show you, you know, some relic skating or sword, sword skating. You can actually use for relic skating in the uh, Scourge of the Past raid and stuff too. I like to throw little tips in like that. I love it when I pick stuff up when I'm watching people's bids, where they uh, thought to, to include stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to go in with Skull of Dire Ahamkara and Slova, honestly. And if you don't want know what I mean by Slova, I mean Top Tree uh, with the Slow Nova or Cataclysm. Um, it's just monster now. Like, it's so good. Uh, you, you basically get it back. You go do things like forges and stuff, and you can just keep throwing them. It's so crazy with Skull of Dire Ahamkara, which obviously uh, gives lots of super energy on kills, so... Um, yeah, I'm going to, uh, oh, uh, very important too, uh, I'm going to be running, it doesn't really matter, like, uh, Rift or whatever, um, doesn't really matter. This is really actually a really easily, easy, uh, easy one when you, um, use some of the tips or the strats that I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you here. Uh, it's very, very easy. I don't think I've ever died in here. I, uh, uh, it's, it's just a, a simple one to do. You just kind of drive at the knights and everything, but, uh, you want burst glide on. Um, at least to sword to sword skate. That's what I'm going to be using now. So um, let's get started here. Um, I'm a little derpy today. I'm kind of sick right now. It's kind of whatever, but I, I, hopefully it'll still be helpful. I won't be too derpy here. The rocks are kind of randomized or whatever this week there's no right way but usually there's a there's a way that i like to go to the right that takes you right to a pretty easy spot to go to we're just gonna go up here i'm gonna throw that slova and we'll get started real quick and then i'll show you and cut these guys real fast and then i'll show you what's up with the uh Slova back. See that? We got our Slova back right there. Just gonna throw another one because those Seekers are so good now. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And we got it back again. Unbelievable, just from a couple ads. Damn it, keeps locking onto those dudes. So I'm just gonna keep driving at this guy. This is gonna go real fast. Keep driving at this dude. Everything that's jumping down on me is gonna die. I'm gonna book it right now just to heal up a little bit. Try to get these guys on me. <clears throat> this is perfect. Super. All right, so what I just did there was a slam super swing. Um. That was a little closer than normal, not going to lie. What I just did there was a slam super combo. So that's, you know, I've done a, I did a, a video on how to do this on Hunter. Um, and I explained in that video that you can slam and then immediately hit your super. Okay, let me show you right now. We just got it back. So you can slam super like right away. You know, it's, it goes all the way back to Crota. Uh, it used to be a sword swing combo that we used. Um, but yeah, uh, so slam super. So as soon as you see that super bar fill back up, uh, it's usually about that time, you know, you've killed the first night, but you keep driving at him and everything dies. And the only thing that's really damaging you is the guys that are shooting you. So you just keep driving at him. And as soon as you get that super swing up, hopefully you can get both of them like that in range of the super and get them kind of lined up, which is why I went down to the end of a staircase while they were still up there. So they kind of line up. Um, I got it kind of late there. Anyway, so I'm going to show you how to sword swing real quick, uh, or excuse me, uh, sword skate, which translates to relic skating, which you can also use. It's very helpful for getting around with those stupid relics in the uh, Scourge of the Past raid, um, the Berserker encounter and the boss encounter. 
Uh, boss encounter is not as much of a time crunch. Uh, Insurrection Prime isn't as much of a time crunch as the Berserker encounter. The first one, it may, you know, give you a call on the left side of the map. You got to go all the way to the right side of the map. We used to hop on each other's sparrows and we'd take each other over. But if you know how to do this, you can get there very quickly because you can do the same thing with a with a relic that you can do, you know, with a with a sword here. So just going to show you what I'm doing. So basically what I'm doing, there are videos out there for this, but I, I like to throw this stuff in if I can, you know. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm jumping, getting myself in the air, and then I'm going to swing with the sword. And you see how it propels you forward. But we're going to monkey that propulsion that you see with the sword swing by hitting our secondary jump right after I sword swing. So I'm jumping, sword swing, and then hitting the secondary jump right away. So it's Swing jump, swing jump, like that fast on the, so jump, swing jump, jump, swing jump, all right? Jump, swing jump, jump, swing jump. Now you can, you notice my momentum carried forward there. If I just go like this and I run a little bit and then try to jump, it kills your momentum. If you take one step, it kills that forward momentum, but it's kind of like Titan skating. Once you got your speed going, you could hop and it'll keep you going. So I'm gonna hop, do it again. If we were going in a straight line, it would continue to like build speed like that. See what I'm doing? So anyway, just a useful little thing. I don't know. Uh, I've seen a couple vids and they explain pretty well, but you have to hit directly after you swing. You don't hit them at the same time. I was trying to do that for a little bit while I was trying to learn how to do this. And it, it would do it every once in a while, but you, you literally just go swing jump really fast. So. Anyway, but back to this bit. So what we're doing is we are going to get up on top of the building and we're basically going to light swing our ass all the way over there. So in order to do that, we're going to get up on top of this thing and we're going to jump up straight towards this sconce. He did not mantle. No way. Uh, but they will usually mantle, but you kind of, it's a little tricky. There we go. You got to kind of hit it. And then you really just want to get yourself to the height of that dome right there so that you can light swing your way all the way over there. Okay. And by light swing, I mean the light swing of the sword, the slash of the sword. So we're just going to kind of go up like this and then just go like that. Right. So it's extremely simple with this guy. With Hunter, it's a little harder because he doesn't mantle on that so it's really tricky but you just want to it's i mean it's really forgiving it's a little tough to get yourself up there like that but i just want to take a, a few runs here and show you probably didn't need to do that but you can even jump back a little bit and then just kind of clear that like that you know what i mean i just wanted to show a couple different ways to do it you don't have to do it just perfect, but you just want to get up to where you're just clearing that thing so you got enough, you know, light swing to get over here. And to explain, the light swing takes you down at like a five degree angle. You can go an incredible distance by spamming light swing. It's how we used to, you know, sword fly the bridge on Crota and do all kinds of different stuff. So right here, I'm going to double tap. Oh, didn't go high enough. No problem because... There we go. You don't want to, like, press forward, apparently. And then here you're home free. And it's all, this is, it's like over. You can jump up to get as much height as you can. Or not. Doesn't really matter. You saw the rocks fly by me right there. You probably want to get some height, to be honest. Jump off of that. Maybe not like I did it here. But... That's basically it, guys. Like, you're... It's done. So, I just jump off of there. I kind of did, a, like, a, a sword skate off of there to be tricky. Uh, but if you jump up super high, it, the rocks don't seem to activate. Um, and then you just sword swing over here. You can also kind of take a little bit of, a like, a detour. Um... You can take a little bit of a detour, like like right or left or whatever, to you know avoid the the central rock areas or whatever. But that's basically it. 
I just wanted to do a quick vid. Uh, you know, I know I kind of lost my direction a little bit here because I'm super like cloudy right now uh, from being sick. But thanks for thanks for checking it out, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.